Good morning, everybody. And welcome, special welcome if you are visiting here for the first time or one of the first times. I hope Angelo and Linda got you an order of service, but if you didn't get one, they are on the back table. You can go back and grab one whenever is convenient. And if you're joining us online, to those folks who are joining us on live stream, uh, there should be a link to the order of service. And if you have any questions, uh, there's someone there on chat to answer them and help you out. So welcome to all of us physically here and from all the places that we are gathering. I am Vanessa Southern. I'm the senior minister of this community and I'm joined in the chancel today by Carmen Barsodi, who is our worship associate this morning. Carmen is also the founder and one of the leaders of the Faithful Fools Ministry in the Tenderloin. And if you don't know about that, you can ask her about that beautiful and powerful ministry um, that we can participate in if you haven't already. I wanna thank also the other folks who are making worship possible to Larry Chin. Thank you for already bringing us into worship and we look forward to your music today. <laughs> Always glad to have you here. And to Elliot and to Ben who are gonna help lead us in song today. Jonathan is doing our AV solo. So it's as if he has eight arms, but he really only has two. He's just a miracle worker. So we thank Jonathan as always, and Matthias and Dan are here to help us with any issues and to prepare the building. And Athena made flower arrangements today that she pointed out, and I think it's true, have tons of movement in them for the service. Because this service, knowing that we would have the extravaganza of joy on Friday, and that that involved dance, for reasons you'll hear about in the service, it felt fitting, and it's summer, so I have a ton of license to do a sermon about dance. Dance, which I want you all to take a moment as we enter into worship, because worship is not a spectator sport in any way, even if you're just sitting the whole time in your pew. We bring ourselves to it. As Emerson said, life passed through the fire of thought. That's what it means to be in this meaning-making venture we're in. So think about your own life and relationship to dance from childhood, adolescence, adulthood, now. Hold that in this room as we enter into worship. Because dance has been a portal to the sacred, the sacred depths of life through time and in religious community from the whirling dervishes and Sufi mystics to St. Gregory of Nyssa, who has a congregation, there's a congregation named after him in, <clears throat> here in the city, in Portrero Hill that has dance every week as part of worship. So hold that piece of life, your relationship to dance, permission to move in our bodies as we enter into this time of worship together this morning. Welcome, everybody. As we light our chalice this morning, we remember the people of Maui and the devastation there, and also those who are in the path of the hurricane in Mexico and Southern California at this time. So with me, please say our chalice lighting words. We light this chalice for the light of truth the warmth of love, and the fire of commitment. We light this symbol of our faith as we gather together. Good morning. My name is Jonah Burquist, and I am the moderator of your Board of Trustees. Uh, if you're interested in learning about the board, come find me or any of the other board members. You can, you can tell by the name tag. It says Board of Trustees on it. If this is your first time joining us in person or watching, thanks for joining us. If you'd like to receive a copy of our weekly email newsletter, which includes a link to the order of service and Sunday live stream, you can fill out one of our connections forms. Uh, those forms are on the welcome table outside the sanctuary, perhaps in a pew in front of you, 
uh, and available through a link in the order of service or video description of today's service. Uh, the order of service lists upcoming events and links to uh, opportunities to connect. Please engage in any or all that are of interest to you. Uh, I want to call your attention especially uh, to a few of them. Uh, First, the auction committee is meeting today and looking for volunteers. Uh, join them at 12.30 in the Kincaid Room, uh, and you can try your hand at making lays and enjoy light refreshments while planning the event. The auction is always a fun time. Uh, Sunday school registration is now open. Uh, we're getting ready to welcome back our children and youth for the 2023-24 program year. We have postcards. Um, they're at the desk. Pick one up uh, for the registration link. Um, or if you know someone who might be interested, pick one up and send it to them. Uh, next month, um, not in your order of service, but heads up, we'll have a special meeting, a special congregational meeting to fill a vacancy on our board of trustees uh, and vote to approve Sean and Fong as an affiliated community minister. So mark your calendars for September 24th and we'll remind you again as the day gets closer. This morning we have a special offering that will go to support the Immigration Center for Women and Children a nonprofit legal organization providing free and affordable immigration services to underrepresented immigrants in California and Nevada. The ICWC strives to provide security and stability for women who are abused, uh, for, for children who are abused, abandoned, or neglected, and immigrants who are survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, and other violent crimes. Our contribution will be collected for this organization in commemoration of the recent Immigrant Rights March on Monday, August 7th. Thank you in advance for your generosity. I believe that is all I wanted to call to your attention. Uh, so now let's take a moment to greet one another.